You've probably seen some of these before. They're called Ishihara tests, and they can help determine whether you're colorblind. If you aren't colorblind, you should probably see the number hidden in these. But can you see this one? How about this? These can only be seen by people who are colorblind. And for this one, if you aren't colorblind, you should see an S, but if you are, you should see a circle. So that's pretty cool. But what is colorblindness? And why do people with it see colors differently? In our eyes, we have two types of specialized cells that allow us to see. The first are called rods, which are responsible for night vision, and the other are called cones, which are responsible for color perception. Humans have three different types of cones called short, medium, and long. These correspond to the relative range of wavelengths of light or colors that they can detect. But if your cones aren't working properly, you won't be able to see the normal range of colors and you're called color blind. Color blindness is actually a bad term considering that usually these people can see colors, just some may be muddled and hard to distinguish between. The correct term instead is color deficient and there are basically just three types of color deficiencies. If you're missing two or more cones, you're completely colorblind. You can only see in black and white. Luckily, this is extremely rare. If you're missing only one type of cone, the effect depends on which of the three cones you're missing, but usually results in seeing the world in blues and yellows. This is actually how dogs and cats see, because they naturally have only two cones. The third and most common form of color deficiency is when you have all three cones, but one of them isn't working normally. This usually occurs when the M and L cones start overlapping in the wavelength of light that they detect, acting more like a single cone. People with this type of color deficiency usually have a hard time distinguishing between reds and greens. Let's try to understand why this is. When a red light enters your eyes, it normally mostly activates the L cone with a bit of the M cone, and our brain then perceives it as red. But if someone has a greater overlap of the two cones, it causes the brain to think that it's receiving more green than it actually is and instead interprets the light as being an orangish brown color. Luckily, there may now be a solution to this problem. A company called Enchroma claims that it has developed sunglasses that can correct these people's color vision. Is Wait. this purple? Yes. What the f The solution that they came up with to correct it is actually pretty simple. The glasses just contain filters that block out the wavelength of light where the abnormal M and L cones overlap the most. This supposedly divides the two cones and makes all the colors seem brighter and pop more. That's it. That's all they do. But that's why Enchroma can only correct this type of color deficiency. It cannot create new cones or replace missing ones. It can only cut out the extra overlap improving the strength of the colors. Now, because these glasses are relatively new, there haven't been many scientific studies on the effects of them. But some people have claimed that after wearing them full time for a few months, they can actually distinguish between certain colors that they weren't able to before without the glasses. That would mean that these glasses are actually rewiring how their brain interprets certain colors. Now that would be pretty awesome. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank Dr. Mullen and Dr. Ragsdale at McGill University who helped explain all this to us and without whom this video wouldn't have been possible. Thanks to them, we have enough material for two or three more videos. So if you guys are interested in color blindness or color vision, let us know and we can make those. We've also put links to Enchroma's website where you can take a color blindness test to see if those glasses will help you. And we've also added some of our favorite reaction videos, so go check those out. Peace.